Hey guys, what's up? All right, a bit of a different challenge for today. We got this new phone, and I want to use my Razer Kishi with Genshin Impact. Now, previously I couldn't use Genshin Impact on my phone because there was just not enough space on that hard drive, but this one is 256 gigs, so, you know, I figure Genshin's worth about half of that. <laughs> it's a pretty big game. But I, I really want to see if I can get it working with the uh, Razer Kishi. So, the tool for doing that is called Mantis Gamepad Pro. Um, and the Kishi has an Xbox layout, so I'll just... It looks like it's already detected that. And that's funny because I don't have the Razer Kishi plugged in at the moment. It must just be remembering that from when I had it plugged in earlier. So let me open up the Kishi here. And we'll plug it in. Because I don't think manual calibration is going to work if it's not plugged in. Alright. Um, start the calibration button. Button. Uh, button. Whoops. Button. It's kind of weird because the key she has to be mounted. Um, top to bottom, whereas this picture is um, this way. <clears throat> Select button is over here. Start button is over here. Uh, the access box button or the home button. Uh, that one. This one, this one, and this one. Uh. Okay, that worked. That worked. I'm going to have to interpolate here because wait a minute wait a minute I don't have a button for that what are they talking about skip that one skip 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 okay analog analog done okay I was expecting a different process after watching the video for how to do this. Um, so I'm wondering if I missed something. <clears throat> okay. I have to start Mantis Buddy. Okay. Launch Mantis Buddy directly on the device. So, Mantis Buddy as far as I understood from the video, <clears throat> is a separate program that's going to run and is responsible for catching the inputs and mapping them to on-screen touches through the main app. Uh, connect to the Mantis Buddy on this device easily without a PC or second device. Experimental. Well, let's give it a try. Let's see. Enable floating widgets. Boop. All right. Enable wireless debugging. I have to turn on developer options first. All right, so let's do that. Go into settings. Um, if I recall, I have to go into about the phone and then find the build number and tap it seven times. All right, did it. Developer mode is on. <clears throat> Let's enable. 
I did turn on developer options. All right, I have to turn on wireless debugging. I'll just have to do that manually then. Search for wireless debugging. There it is. It's turned on. USB debugging is on, wireless debugging on. Okay. Let's mark that done. Yes, okay. Allow overlays over settings. Um, there. All right. Mark is done. And then pair via wireless debugging. Start the pairing process. Pair. Uh, this is the part that gets really weird. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Six digit pairing code, okay. Pair device with pairing code. I'm looking for a setting that says pair device with pairing code. Do 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 do. There's a lot of settings here. I didn't see it anywhere. Select the debug app, maybe? Nothing there. And it won't go back now. All right, let's try that again. through these a second time. All right, let's go back here. Search the settings for pair. Come on, let me type. It's not giving me a keyboard. Go away. I had to clear that to get the keyboard back. See if I can uh, get this to go here. Three two seven nine eight five. And port three three seven seven nine. Three two seven nine eight five three three seven seven nine pair. 
Now the video said this can take up to two minutes. I hope it doesn't take that long. Oh, I see. Alright, so wireless debugging, tap on that to get to this menu, pair it, <clears throat> and put in 329967 with a port number of 46579, pair. Well, I meant to pause the last one, but instead I killed it. Maybe I'll go search up a program to stitch those two videos together. But it looks like the pairing is successful. I got a notification saying that wireless debugging is connected. And it says it's launching the buddy service. All right. It is telling me Mantis Buddy is connected. You are all set. After device restart, just turn on wireless debugging and then launch Mantis. Oh, I gotta restart restart the computer the phone here. I said restart the computer. It really is a computer. Well, I guess that's the previous video I did. Well maybe I'm gonna have to stitch three videos together then. We'll see. I haven't yet learned how to do that. Alright, well, if I've got to restart the phone, let's restart the phone. Okay, I'm back. Now, it said I would need to re-enable USB debugging. So let's check that out. Alright, looks like it's still enabled, so I'll just leave that alone. Let's fire up Mantis. Auto-connecting Mantis Buddy. I'm not sure if I'm waiting for something here. Connecting though is progressive, so it sounds like it's doing something. Hmm. Well, let me give this a second. All right, I'm back. It seems like the, um, well, it's not going to pair on its own, so I'll have to go in and try to do that. And the other thing I've learned is that if the lock screen kicks in, it kills off my video, even if I have it in a paused state, which is annoying. Okay. That's done. So the four options are on. Why can't I skip this? It 
this off. Allow. Prepare. Cancel. Alright, let's go back here. Allow. Mark is done. Start pairing. Alright, let's try again. Whoa. How do I get myself into these weird states? I can't see the thing I'm trying to pair to. Alright, let's write this down. Five three five six zero oh, four on port three four nine six three. And then I tap here and it covers that up. Five three five six zero. Oh. Is that a four or a nine? I have terrible handwriting. I'm gonna go with a nine. Three, four, nine, six, three. It was a four. Dang it. Why do I have bad handwriting? And a worse memory. Alright, let's just cancel that. Because that ain't going to work. Start pairing. Try again. Three one nine one nine nine on port four three four six five. This is a nuisance. Three one nine one nine nine on port four three four six five. Go. <coughs> Come on, I only got six minutes left on my lunch break. All right, pairing successful, launching the buddy. All right, buddy is connected. You are all set. After device restart, just turn on the wireless debugging and launch Mantis app for auto buddy connection. Well, that didn't happen, did it? <clears throat> Alright, let's keep it in portrait mode because it gets weird when you when you switch. Let's go back to Mantis. It's all connected. You're all set. Okay. There. Mantis Buddy is connected. Let's add a game. Genshin. Hill Climb Racing? And Hill Climb Racing 2. Uh, get a Pro Pass to add more than one game. With a Pro Pass, you also get things like MOBA SmartCast support gestures and more. Well, how much is it? Ten dollars lifetime? I'll think about that. But for now, let's just continue with Genshin. Alright. Um I think that's it. Alright, let me stop this video and start a new one in um the landscape mode.